Hello, it's Robotnik is Sexy, and this is the rematch I had with Apple Smiley Face uh, on the very same morning, and she, or he, is bringing a mono normal type, and I tell you what, it packs a wallop. Um, I switch out to take the fake out, and um, uh, does a lot of damage, and it is life orbed, and it might even be adamant in nature, which would make sense, because the next thing it does is last resort and look how much that does to Slowking, who is my bulky, probably my bulkiest guy on this team. It does like 80% of the health or something. So I'm like, hey, that that's uh, that's terrible. I definitely, definitely didn't see that coming at all. Uh, I switched out Mew because I was a hundred percent sure I would be taunted because he does have a couple things with the stealth rocks, so I thought that would be the best move for him, but he's just going to wail on me with Last Resort. Um, makes kind of an odd move here. Uh, I, I don't think it's the best move uh, he could have done, um, but it wouldn't have mattered too much because I do have Recover. Um, switches out and allows me to do whatever I want, and I go for the Trick Room and the Psy Shock, and then it goes for Thunder Wave, uh, which doesn't bother me too much, but um, the chance to be fully paralyzed is definitely bothersome. Uh, thankfully, I do not get fully paralyzed, and I am able to take out um, Togekiss, so that's good. Um, brings in Porygon 2, which, as you all know, is, is a very, very, very bulky dude. Um, Life Orb powered, max special attack, Reuniclus, Focus Blast, doesn't do it, um, and I totally expected that, to be honest. And here is when the hex starts to roll in. Uh, I get fully paralyzed, dimensions, dimensions twist to normal, and I uh, get the Trick Room up again. So at his health range, I know I can take him out with another Focus Blast, but what do you know? Uh, I definitely miss. And then I miss again. So I get fully paralyzed, and then I miss twice, and that is enough uh, time um, for Porygon 2 to, to annihilate me, pretty much. Um, uh, Trick Room is going to be up for two more turns, but Mr. Pants is pretty safe. Um, I've got that HP investment, and I know Call Mind, so I can pretty much deflect whatever hits this uh, Porygon 2 duck monster wants to throw at me, and I could even go to six. Um, I make kind of a misplay, I think. Um, I thought he was going to charge beam, and I wanted to, like, get a sub up on his charge beam, because I thought it would be really cool. Uh, but he just goes for the straight ice beam, and um, it's kind of bad, because it takes my health down further. Um, so I have two, two Calm Minds, and I baton pass to Humba Wumba. Because Porygon 2 is the kind of Pokemon you can set up on, and luckily I live it by 12. Definitely a really risky move, um, but I was pretty certain I would survive that hit, because Humbawamba is a monster. Um, as you will see, again, uh, this thing stalls out Pokemon, um, just keeps adding on to its stat bonuses, and then it goes for a superpower to store power. Um, and, um, and the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, this is pretty cool, but, uh, if I do KO Porygon 2, he's just gonna throw out Ursaring, who, um, uh, yeah, Ursaring could very easily KO me if I don't have enough health, if I don't have enough defense boosts, so I'm trying to cosmic power as much as I can. Uh, very, very luckily for me, he misses the charge beam, which uh, really, really makes the difference for this boosting war. Um, it allows me to uh, safely take out Porygon 2 without being too worried about uh, being KO'd by uh, a Ursa Ring or a Last Resort um, from this guy. Um, so he goes for the fake out. It, it doesn't do too much. Goes for the Last Resort. Um, I live it with very little health, and the plan here is to be a total and complete bastard and uh, just stall his health out, because he's eventually going to kill himself with Life Orb, and if I can get this Ambipom to kill itself and be healthy, 
at the end of the turn, then that is great. Unfortunately for me, the Hex uh, crops up again and decides that um, uh, Siglyph is going to be critical hit, and that's really bad for me. Um, so it's actually a double down, which is pretty epic, if you ask me. Uh, goes for that Dark Pulse. I luckily, luckily do not get uh, flinch. That would have pretty much ended me if I had gotten that 10% or 20% flinch. Um, but uh, I don't, so I get to set my Trick Room again. I think three of my Pokemon have Trick Room on this Mono Psychic team, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. Um, but he uh, does send out Earth Ring, and he is going to uh, try to stall out my uh, Trick Room turns. Um, which it actually does successfully, because he gets the double protect, which is another uh, wave of hacks coming my way. Uh, which really, really, really sucks, because now Trick Room is going to end after I KO Earth Ring, um, and he brings out his last, which is Swallow. Um, but I don't know why he doesn't go for Facade. Instead, he goes for U-Turn. I guess he uh, either misclicked or he got cocky. Um, whatever the case, um, he underestimated the damage U-turn was going to do or something, and I'm able to get the very fancy strike finish of the Fusion Bolt. And uh, that's going to be the end of this match, YouTube, so see ya.